This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to create professional titles. Usually sometimes you'll see these type of titles in movie trailers. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we've done a handful of title tutorials in the past, but there's so many subtle techniques that go into creating professional titles, something that you'll see moving trailers. You can also use these like in intros because we'll be working with you know lens flares and other subtle you know professional elements to help us create awesome titles. So before we jump into our tutorial, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. All right, so here we are in After Effects, and this is gonna be a great tutorial. Let's jump over to our tutorial, and all we have in here is our title called Revengers might mean something similar to a movie you may have seen. Anyway, in our first technique, we're gonna take this title and add a little bit of a texture to it so it can stand out. <clears throat> so one thing you're gonna need is a texture and I got this one for free from freepix.com. I'll link that in the description. And I'll go ahead and bring this into our timeline here. And the one thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure the texture is underneath our title and set the track mat to alpha mat. Then just hit asterisk keyboard for scale and just scale this in here because this is a really big texture. And, you know, we can move it around, find the right area that we want, and that's fine. Then let's go to effect, color correction, and let's add curves, and let's just brighten this up by a little bit. Nice. And then really quick, I want to go to layer, new adjustment layer. And I want to go to effect, stylize, and I want to add CC film burn. And I'm going to add a keyframe for the burn and set it up to 100%. And then I'll move forward, maybe past a second, and set the burn down to zero. And this way, we'll have a little bit of a nice in transition for our title, and that's cool. Then with our adjustment layer selected, let's go to Effect Perspective, and let's add a Bevel Alpha. And we can increase the edge thickness by a little bit, maybe to like four. And this just adds a little bit of a nice bevel to this. Then let's go ahead and grab all these layers and go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and let's call it Title. Great. Then let's go ahead and duplicate this layer, and we go to Effect Generate, fill and change the fill layer to white and then hit tier keyboard for opacity and we can lower the opacity of this so this will give us the opportunity to brighten this up as we continue to build out our composition so you know keep the opacity around 35 percent just so we can see our title you know against a dark background we'll control this a little bit later and then of course moving on i want to add our background in here which i'm going to use the same as the texture and i'm going to scale this down and one thing i'll do is go to effect color correction curves We'll darken this down just by a little bit, and we'll darken this down a little bit later as well. Let's go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and let's add a Gaussian Blur. And set this up to like 5 or 6. And so now we have our background and title in here, and this is honestly the bulk of the work that we'll have to just bring in from After Effects. Uh, because from here, we're going to use stock elements and just a few more effects to help tie this all together, to composite together a nice scene. And really, that's what it takes to do more of a trailer title scene is compositing. And specifically... We want to be able to composite lens flares, particles are optional if you want, and also fog if you want to do that. So it's really up to you if you want to do that. I will link several free packs that you can download of flares and particles. So I will check those links in the description if you want a free pack. It's truly up to you what type of lens flares that you want. So it all depends, but the techniques will remain the same. So we can grab our lens flare here and I'll bring this on top of our title. And we'll scale this down. And we'll set the blend mode to screen. And then let's go to the beginning of our timeline here. Let's go to effect, color correction, let's add brightness and contrast. Let's add a keyframe for brightness. Hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframe. Move the keyframe forward, maybe to a second, and increase the brightness. So we'll have like a little bit of like an in transition here. I'll set to 150. Nice. Then let's go ahead and maybe duplicate this. Go to layer transform, and we'll flip it horizontally. And now we'll have this doubled up. Now I want to be able to composite our background a little bit better for our lens flare. So we'll take both these here and we'll go to edit duplicate. So we now have two duplicates of our lens flare and let's put this right on top of our background. Then let's go to the blend mode and set this to soft light. And now we composite in our background very easily. And as you can see just before and after these lens flares with a soft light make a huge difference on our background and I don't know if you can see it on YouTube but I'll zoom in here 
If we turn off our background, our background is still in there and just adds a little bit of a nice texture to what we're doing. And as a side option, we can add some particles into our composition just to add a little bit more detail to it. And if you want a full pack of particles and lens flares, I highly suggest taking a look at Cine Punch, which has 9,000 plus elements and is from an author called Phantasma, who has done an excellent job with this pack and just adding so many elements for pretty much any type of project. So if you're a video editor, there's tons of light leaks, color presets, sound effects, you know, premiere transitions, and for compositing, you know, you have particles, lens flares, you know, haze, fog, um, tons of other abstract elements that you can add into your After Effects and editing projects. Whether you use Premiere or Final Cut Pro to edit, this pack will serve you well. So if you want to check out Cine Punch and have an all-in-one asset pack for all your projects, I will drop that link in the description where you can check it out. So from here, I will bring in our you know stock particle elements and set the blend mode to screen. I love screen over any other blend mode. It just as in there seamlessly without any disruption. So now I've added several particles in here just to add some more detail to our composition. And I wanna go ahead and re-explore our title real quick. So let's go back to our top layer and let's actually lower the opacity of our title, maybe down to 10%. And then let's go to our bottom layer. Let's go to effect generate and let's add a CC light sweep. And you see it gets a little bit brighter here and we can control this anchor point and we can control this light sweep here. We can actually increase the sweep intensity. So it's a little bit brighter. And let's come here to the beginning of our timeline. Let's add a keyframe for center. Go to the end of our animation. I'll just say like five seconds. And then we will move this over the center. And this will be able to animate along our text. So you have a nice little light sweep. Then let's go up to layer, new adjustment layer. And let's start adding some effects to tie the scene together. Let's go to effect, noise and grain. And let's add noise. And set the noise up to like 7% uncheck use color noise and this composites all the elements together very easily then let's go to effect color correction curves and let's really start dialing in the scene so maybe i'll make the scene a little bit darker maybe create a little bit of an s curve and then maybe go to our red and bring this down by a little bit make the scene a little bit more green and maybe we'll go to our green channel and bring down the green by a little bit so kind of evens out that color by a touch and if you want to set this to a widescreen format, you can add black bars if you want. What I like to do is go to composition, composition settings, and just calculate a um, 235 to 1 aspect ratio. So how you do that is you take your width of your composition and you divide it by 235, or 2.35. So 1920 divided by 2.35 is 817, and that's a 235 to 1 aspect ratio. And boom, now we have a aspect ratio right there. And then to finish this off, let's go ahead and grab all of our layers and go to layer pre-compose we'll call it all bam then let's hit here and keyboard for position oh click the stopwatch for position and type in wiggle open parenthesis 2 comma 30 close parenthesis so it should look like that click off of it and it'll have a little bit of like a camera shake to it so there'll be a little bit of a camera shake to this but however there's gonna be this black bar here we could scale this up but what i like to do now is go to effect stylize and click on motion tile and click on mirror edges and increase the output width and the output height until those black bars are gone and it just makes the composition bigger and we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline hit Astro keyboard for scale add a keyframe for it move forward to the end of our animation and we'll just scale in by like a few points so when it's all said and done we should have a very simple animation like this and you should be able to swap in your know, logo or a title from our title composition. So, so now you have several techniques that you can employ while creating your own professional titles. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials like this every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.